All right, what's up, gang? Back at it again. All right, now we have learned that uh, uh, chemistry study matter, and matter is anything that have a uh, mass and take up volume, and matter is um, divided into pure substance and a mixer. All right, so we talk about mixer. So we have uniform and not uniform. The uniform one we call homogeneous mixture and the not not uniform one is heterogeneous now we're going to move on to the other side the pure substance which is com consists of one substance okay pure substance are um can be divided into two groups we have an element we have the compound right for an element you cannot uh break them down or separate them any further with physical uh, physical process for example uh grinding cutting um distilling uh, boiling, you can make it any smaller than that. For example, if you grind up iron to a small particle, those are still iron. You can separate them any further than that, right? Using physical process, uh, process. Uh, we have argon, um, uh, gold, um, hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, and helium. Okay, it's a much more than that. It's just example. Now, on the other side, we have compound, which is basically multiple elements in it for for example, carbon dioxide got a carbon, got an oxygen. Uh, water got a hydrogen and oxygen in it. Okay, so pure substance, we have element and a compound. Element, just one element. Compounds are multiple elements. All right, <clears throat> so the whole thing here matters, right? Anything that takes uh, has mass and takes up volume. Uh, we have pure substance and a mixer. One substance and multiple substances. For the mixer, we have the keyword. What's the keyword again? Uniform, so we have a uh, homogeneous, everything uniform, and heterogeneous, not uniform. Pure substance, okay, uh, divided into element and compound. So element, just one element, compound, multiple elements. All right, all right, concept test, okay, which of the following is an element? Should it be that hard? That right there, chlorine, so chlorine is element, uh, the rest are has multiple elements, so they are compounds, okay? Some of you said, hey, hold on, chlorine got two chlorine in it. Well, but it just by itself is not multiple elements, right? Multiple element is called compound. They just by itself, so it is ele an element, okay? Uh, you will learn it later. Uh, chlorine is a type of element we call diatomic element where uh, they exist in pair, uh, in pair. We have oxygen, ga uh, oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, uh, fluorine gas, those exist in pair. Hydrogen gas also as an example. Um, now, which of the fol following is not an element? Which one? Iodine, totally an element. CE is cerium, also an element, totally. Cl and F, all right? Sulfur, yep, uh, uh, those just one element, okay? All right, just a little bit about uh, atom and molecules. Um, give me one second. Okay, <clears throat> uh, atom. So just uh, the definition of an atom and, or an element. So atom is the smallest representation um, of an element. Okay. So we have all this, all this right here. Uh, they exist as mo uh, monoatomic element, lithium, sodium, potassium, calcium, beryllium, magnesium. On the right side, we have a like boron, aluminum. Uh, in the middle, we have iron right here, chromium right here. All right. Uh, this exists as just one element, just like one particle. So we call monoatomic elements. Some of them exist in pair. We have hydrogen gas, nitrogen gas, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine gas. So we call diatomic uh, molecules. No, actually, bromine exists in uh, as a liquid in a liquid form, and iodine exists in a solid form. Uh, they are they are diatomic molecules, and we also have this phosphorus. They uh, come in four. Right, we call polyatomic molecules now. Uh, there are two types, two main types of phosphorus. We have uh, the white phosphorus and the red phosphorus. Okay, some of you are Breaking Bad fan. I'm not sure anyone here. Um, this probably at I don't remember, like probably the first, uh, at the end of the first season where uh, Walter White have uh, like some kind of particle. He, he, uh, he said in, in, on the show, well, don't quote me on it. This has been a while, but he's, he said something like uh, the, the, that's a fart for us. It's a white fart for us. And he throw it into the floor and just explode. Okay. Uh, in reality, uh, white fart for us 
is less reactive and the red phosphorus and the red phosphorus actually the one that can uh, uh, undergo explosion or um, <clears throat> Uh, right here so you're probably familiar with the match right that's just white it's just a little bit heat can convert um red phosphorus to white phosphorus okay so the more explosive the explosive one is supposed to be rare so i think that uh the the thing that he hold in his hand that's probably the red phosphorus not the white phosphorus that uh he said on a tv show okay all right that's phosphorus so as a, a an example of polyatomic molecules we also have sulfur comes in eight atoms, okay, in, in a molecules, not just an atom. All right, uh, go to the next video, we'll talk about the uh, atom and molecules.